This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection and service. Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hara Canucks and welcome to another video. Now I've been working out of the new office for a while now, everything is pretty much 100% aside from a few tweaks here and there, but this uh, setup will be featured on Setup Wars run by the tech source Edgar, he's got amazing content, make sure to go subscribe to him uh, and say hello that I sent you. But without further ado, let me show you what this space is all about. Welcome. So this space is much bigger compared to what I've been working from in the past. It actually gives me enough room to breathe, maneuver around for filming and as an editing then gives me satisfying time when performing those long editing marathons. So let's take a look at the desk first. Aside from a few minor tweaks, this configuration hasn't changed all that much from my previous setup. I'm still rocking dual Acer XB270HU monitors that are so good for productivity and gaming too. They are G-Sync compatible and 100 144 hertz refresh rate that doesn't only benefit game time but responsiveness on the desktop is also felt so every video i produce for hard rock Nugs goes through these pixels first i'm happy to say that i finally added a lighting strip behind the desk which is from hue plus system by nzxt that offers so much color customization so expect a little extra flair in my shots from now on and because it's a separate lighting channel, I can change the color of this glow without affecting the color of my PC, which is pretty cool. Now you notice I have no speakers at the moment and that's because my ears have been so spoiled by the fantastic Sennheiser HD 800 headphones that fully drive my audio experience for music and editing. But if you have any suggestions for compact studio monitors, please let me know with a comment below. My headphones rest on the Silverstone headphone stand that is fully aluminum and can support two or even three pairs. And that's because for gaming, I put these on, the Game 1 pair from Sennheiser that are based on the same drivers as the HD598 with outstanding soundstage and also an amazing microphone. Speaking of which, ever since my Blue Yeti broke, all of my vocals for Hard Rock Canucks have gone through this microphone, the Audio-Technica 2035, which is plugged into the Scarlett 2i2 and sits beside the O2 headphone amplifier, which is surprisingly good to drive the HD800. I am still typing on the Cooler Master Nova Touch TKL because of the light Topra switches, which are amazing, and recently have started using the Zoe FK1 mouse that is so accurate, it's driverless, and my aim game is strong, my friends. Only thing though, the switches are quite heavy, but still, I highly recommend it. My desk companion include this toy Trabant that's as slow as a toy car as in real life, and my case companion is this plant that discreetly hides the power button on the PC. The Vertigear SL4000 is what's been supporting me since I've moved into the new office, which is actually pretty comfortable. I've experienced uh, no back pains or awkward things poking me around, so that's a positive. And powering my editing needs is this machine that we've recently built, the Skylake Editing PC. It's very quiet even at full load. Performance wise, the 4 core chip compares to a 6 core workstation and these dual 980Ti's may be an overkill for CUDA GPU acceleration inside Adobe, but for gaming they are 100% utilized. Top it up with some sexy Hue Plus lighting from NZXT and an aluminum enclosure from Fantex and you've got yourself a very lovely workstation for the future years to come. On the same side as my desk is the shelf that acts as both an open storage system so I have to make sure things are organized but it also serves as an awesome dynamic backdrop for videos. Add some Christmas lights, get proper distance so things are out of focus, and bam, you have yourself a very pleasing image. It's like organized chaos in the background, I love it. And here you also find some upcoming product reviews and other builds that we are working on. And sometimes I need to stack things on top of each other to make sure that I get proper audio when the microphone is off the desk. So the shelf here is pretty organized with everything to do with cases and accessories on the second shelf while all my gaming peripherals and audio are on the shelf above it. And aside from creating a schedule on upcoming videos, having things right in your face is a good reminder as to what I need to be working on next. 
you can see this very small mice collection so stay tuned for an upcoming top 5 mice of 2015 video and ever since I switched to filming on the GH4 my camera gear have shrunk significantly to a manageable amount when traveling with just the second portable lens and the Sony RX100 Mark III for our behind the scenes series. So as you can see this side of the room is all filled with something for video backdrop, editing or storage while the other side is completely bare with just a single filming table and a set of lights and this gives me a nice balance of delivering a plain white shot mixed in with some other backdrops for an interesting video plus the table has a gloss finish that creates these awesome reflections so guys this concludes the tour i hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did now i have two questions for you uh, one is, do you have any feedback for this space to make it more efficient or more productive uh, for my workflow, as I'm sure you're pretty aware of it by now? Um, and the second question is, do you have a desk or a case companion, just like me, to make your space a little bit more personal? Leave them in the comments down below. Also, make sure to subscribe to Hyrule Canucks for more similar content. And don't forget to check out the Tech Source channel for the Setup Wars, an awesome series where he shows off a bunch of cool setups that uh, feature all types of configurations and maybe you gives you an idea on how to do yours. So I'm Dimitri with Hyrule Canucks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.